Raw Talk Radio, uh, Vinny K, which is what's going on. This isn't the opening of a show. This is the middle of the night. I woke up. feel like crap, and you get more ulcers reading what's going on. Let me explain something to you. I have to say something about this Antifa thing. First of all, well, when you come out and say Antifa is in a club, don't have memberships, don't have meetings, it's just an idea, that's fine. But then you can't say... Well, there's no Klansman in Antifa. There's no Antifa. You just said it. You don't know what's going on. You just throw a moniker out there and anybody could do whatever they want under that moniker. People are saying Antifa stands for anti-fascist. Yeah, should you be anti-fascist? Yeah, of course. But let me explain to you. Throwing bricks at truck drivers is not anti-fascist. This is how stupid people are. The same people that are on Facebook going, we should have a national truck driver day. We should have a national truck. This is so important to heroes. I'll throw in bricks at truck drivers. Throwing a brick through a guy's sneaker store window that's been closed for three months because of the pandemic who couldn't sell the, the sneakers we're waiting at three, three months to sell so the guy could feed his kids. Throwing sne- a brick through the sneakers that's not anti-fascist. I get yelled at. Literally. People email and yell at me over saying we should beat Nazis in the street. I get yelled at for it. And you're yelling, well, anti-fascist. These are the same people, if there's 10 Nazis in the street, literally standing there with SWAT stickers, or Klansmen, Klansmen, people who've been, who've been we're lynching black people. You want to hear to defend black people? These hipsters want to defend black people. Attack the Klansmen. You're screaming anti-fascist when there's Nazis in the street, you don't do anything. But you're going to put a mask on and throw a brick at a cop. Do you know how stupid you are? And don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that say, well, 99% of the cops are good people. It, that's false. I know that's false. You watch these cops walk down suburban streets, side streets with nobody there, shooting people on their porch with rubber bullets, and that's a special kind of douchebag. I don't care if somebody's ordering you to do that. You don't do things like that. Smashing kids in the street on their knees, pointing, pointing guns at kids. I understand. There's a problem. But don't hide behind. When, when you type something on the Facebook, when you go on the interweb and you type something, and you hide, people just hide behind, oh, Antifa's anti-fascist. Fine. Go beat up a Nazi. There's no problem with that. I have no problem with that. The law might. Don't tell them I told you to do it. But when you're screaming that, and here in Long Island they're throwing bricks at truck drivers... And then you're going to cry. You're going to go crying to someone when you get shot in the leg when one of these truck drivers have a gun. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And then you've got to remember, there are people out there that are pent up, that haven't made money in months, that are going to say, you know what? They're going to come back to Belmore tonight? I'm going to take a bat and go out there. Because now they're, they're fed up. They might not be mad at you, but they're mad. Everybody's mad right now. You just can't, there should be no pro-Antifa or anti-Antifa because there's no Antifa. That's what the people from Antifa said. It's just an idea out there. You can't hide behind that because when you hide behind that, then any jackass, undercover Klansman, could go burn down the store and blame it on protesters and you're not helping anybody that way. And people are scared to say it. Well, you can't say that. It means anti-fascist. Go beat up a Nazi man. You want to be anti-fascist. I shouldn't. I have a sixth grade education. I shouldn't be telling you this.